Eric Moabit, mother .com, with a brief video. When I use the chart for JCP to see whether we can learn what happens to a stock when the RSI is stuck below 30.9. Now, of course, 30.9 is the exact opposite of the other number that I always talk about, which is 69.1. This, of course, is a bearish trap zone. And 69.1, on the other hand, is an area of price acceleration, or generally tends to be an area of price acceleration. Now, we can see here the stock has been on a downward spiral, of course. And we can see, actually, if we go back, take a look, there's some reasons here. We can see topside RSI resistance came in play over the last couple of months. Oh, by the way, this is a two-year weekly chart. So again, a two-year weekly chart, resistance right there, rejection at the RSI 50 also, around there. And we can also see a line of backtest failure if you take a look at the previous lows. So it broke down at the beginning of 2017 here. And what we do, we can extend that line. And once we extend the line, we see that it comes in contact with the RSI highs of about late July 2017, which is the highs there before the most recent slide. All right, so we can see some of those things on the chart. But for the purpose of this video, I want to discuss that trap zone of 30.9. Now, this is a two-year weekly. We can see that as long as the stock is below 30.9 on the weekly, we know that the stock is going to be probing lower prices. So let's watch this over the next couple of weeks and months to see how, far, how much further it can go, especially if the RSI is below 30.9. The only way the stock recovers is if it can stop the slide or if it can bounce back above the 30.9 level. So the only hope here is the stock to bounce back above the 30.90 level. That might stop the recent slide. If you take a look at the daily, you got the same type of situation. We just recently went back below 30.9 on the daily. So again, another time frame showing weakness. And as long as the daily is below 30.9, we should not expect to see a bounce. Take a look also at the monthly. And the monthly is just now moving below 30.9. And I can tell you, as long as the RSI on the monthly is below 30.9, we know that this is not a good area to try and catch the stock for a bounce. You'd want to see that the RSI has moved back above 30.9 for any chance of a recovery run. And by the way, I did take a look at the hourly just because I did. And we can see on the hourly, there is a line connecting RSI lows that is beginning to take shape. So maybe here is where it finds a flaw. And if it can bounce on this line, on the hourly, if it can move the daily chart back above 30.9, And also the weekly chart back above 30.9 and of course the monthly that is the only time it's gonna have an opportunity of bouncing so as long as the major time frames are below 30.9 we can logically watch this to see how much lower it can go Eric Mother mother.com as always good luck peace and blessings e a c s